Bulletproof Radio, a state of high performance. One of the myths that you have in the book that I love you busting is that longevity is dangerous and selfish. Why is longevity not dangerous and selfish? Well, I think the, the mental model of aging that we have today in our mind uh, um, uh, is pretty outdated. Uh, so, like, when you think about longevity, uh, we're going to assuming that um, we're all going to add last 5, 10 years of our life when you are in the most fragile state, when you require a lot of support. And, like, every technology that I know and that we invest in um, is working on inserting 10, 20, 25 years right in the middle of your life, just extending the productive uh, part of it. So that's one. Second, I also think we have a wrong uh, role models here. Like, uh, we're always looking at centenarians, people who already live 100 plus years on this planet. And uh, we we just trying to learn from them. I, I actually think, and, and there's a lot of studies supporting that, um, they just been lucky in a genetic lottery. And that's why you know, it's obviously it's a combination of environment and lifestyle changes predetermined by the environment where they live in. But yeah, otherwise, uh, I think it was near Barzilla who just done a study on centenarians. And so like you know, 70% of, uh, of their secret is, um, is genetic luck. So therefore, like the, the whole model of longevity that we have is uh, based on the wrong... Uh, uh, assumptions and uh, we are uh, well pretty social species and and like whatever we and wherever we invest in for longevity vision fund uh, is making uh, amazing changes and transformation of current healthcare procedures and interventions and solving problems like efficiency gains that we get from investing in early cancer diagnostic or in uh, affordable ultrasound devices. So it's like the improvement is 10 20 to 20, not percent, but times. So therefore, it's we're going to democratize this whole access to the healthcare. It's not going to be, I'm not interested in building something for uh, like a billionaires, for people who can pay millions of dollars to live longer. Uh, I'm actually interested in, in bringing the uh, uh, scientific discoveries and technological breakthroughs to uh, to almost like a guarantee to everyone access to the most efficient and, and technology based uh, version of healthcare. So this is well, that's that's going to happen. 